We moved here from California and have been in Tennessee approximately two years now. And we moved here for this beautiful environment in which we uh, live in. Uh, in my free time, I enjoy hunting, fishing, and then I have a barbecue seasoning business called the Lawman Rub Company. And we do three different seasonings, a all-purpose uh, seasoning that's good on pork and ribs. Uh, we have a lemon pepper that is good like on chicken or pork, and then we have a butter garlic. Ideally, at the end of all this, this is where I'm gonna be doing my social media and my content development uh, as part of my uh, barbecue seasoning business. I'm excited to have the Seeds of Change out here uh, working on my project. I've seen some great things that they've done, and I can't wait till Jill gets her vision of what I have given her to try to make this complete project. And I know you're gonna be back to check out what we've done. the week we've been spent we've been spent we've <laughs> we've I can't think I can't take him seriously right now this is really testing me out <laughs> we actually don't know what we're doing <laughs> not qualified for this call. <laughs> At the beginning of this week, we dug a bunch of dirt out from the slope um, where it was kind of cutting it. You see all the dirt on the side of that shed. That's not great because you want to be able to actually walk around your shed and not have really big dirt splatters all over it. Who wants that? So we dug out, put in the footer block, started building this wall up. And this wall that we have built this week is retaining all of this dirt that is in this backyard. All we have left to do is finish putting this cap course on it, which is that block that you see that's oriented the other way. We're putting the cap in and this block that we were gonna put right here isn't, isn't gonna overhang. We want it to overhang by a couple inches because it's overhanging by a couple inches over here, a couple inches over here. As we're doing the step down, we want this block when you set it on to also overhang by a couple inches right there. Um, right now, as we're setting it in, it's matching up with that edge. Um, and it just doesn't look finished and it doesn't, it doesn't allow for that overhang. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this back a couple inches so that when we set that one on top, it is gonna overhang and we can continue running this um, top course all the way down. Over here, I am digging out for some steps that we're gonna put in. Um, and this side of the retaining wall is gonna kind of curve where you see that paint mark curving in. It's gonna curve and retain those steps as well as the dirt behind it. It's gonna be a lot prettier than what it looks like right now because this isn't too nice to look at at the time, <laughs> at the moment. But I'm super excited about this. And then we have some other um, landscaping and some irrigation stuff that we're gonna get done for these clients too, um, to just make their lives a little easier and make their yard a little prettier. They say that morning comes for Fall asleep, sleep talking, sleep walking, sleep walking, sheep dragon.